great thing so far that I've noticed on this great walk is that the signage and the tracks are great. And not only the signage, as you can see here, but there is a fantastic topographic map, 1 to 25,000. Um, that's produced just for this walk and it's it's actually got heaps of great information it's got heaps of interf on the back and handy tips and uh, yeah if you are going to do it I recommend getting a hold of it even if it's just for you know a bit of a souvenir and I think there's something in the psyche of Australians when they think about the Gold Coast they think you know high-rise towers tacky shops um, Oh, you know, theme parks and a whole lot of built environment, man-made environment. And I am just blown away by the beauty up here. This is not in my mind what the Gold Coast is. So um, this is actually really good for the soul. And uh, I kind of, yeah, I kind of apologise to Gold Coast that I've only ever thought of it as being, you know, surface paradise. And uh, clearly there's a whole lot more. quite a steep descent. I think it's about 900 metres overall, but over quite a distance. From Binnaburra Lodge at the top, up in that whole sort of volcanic rim section, dropping down into the plains, into the valley. down at Nomenba. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. And so now we have a little bit of a road bash. And thankfully we made it to the coffee place before they shut. So just keep in mind that it does shut at four o'clock. I think there's another one in town here that shuts at five. But the great thing is they let us fill up our water and the coffee was actually pretty good. That is a long hot day. And yes, Sweaty Betty and her able-bodied sidekick have finally arrived at the Wunganura Walkers Camp. 